Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Anthazar, but y'all can just call me Anthe. <laughs> Are you afraid? Are you paralyzed by fear when it comes to your writing? Let's discuss. I know a lot of writers experience fear. Fear of rejection, fear of people talking about their stories, people not liking them. I have friends who don't want to share their writing because they're afraid of people judging their writing and they're not sure if they can handle that. I can understand that. I feel like a lot of writers experience that. Why are we so afraid? There are a lot of fear that could come into play, that could paralyze us, that could sometimes suck all of our creative energy out. Let's discuss how we can overcome that. I know it's difficult to share your writing and things like that in life. I know it's frightening to get critiques. It's frightening for someone to tell you, oh, you should change this or you should change that or you should take this out or you should take that out or you should add this or that and it can be overwhelming. When it comes to fear, it's so dangerous because it can overtake your life in so many different areas. If you're someone whose life is filled with a lot of fear, I would love to offer some help. I mean, we all experience it. Not 100% sure if I'm like, I'm the best to advise, but... I have some thoughts. <laughs> I think a great antidote to fear is trust. If you trust yourself, then you can stave off the beast that is fear. I really feel like fear can creep up on us. It's not something like, oh, gasp, there is a spider on the wall and now I am terrified. Ah! Not quite like that. Although I'm sure we all experience those intense, ugh, fearful moments. <laughs> I feel like fear is more deadly than we realize. It's more of this undercurrent underneath us and we don't really realize, oh, I'm afraid because of X, Y, and Z. It's just you're paralyzed by something and you don't always know what it is. <laughs> I think that if you trust yourself and your abilities that it can help you through that it can help you overcome and push forward through that unnoticed fear in your life perhaps your trust in yourself feels fragile i still would say continue to trust yourself because your gut your gut is pretty smart your gut is smarter than you think it is <laughs> <laughs> Only you know your abilities. And when it comes to writing, it's so subjective. <laughs> writing is an art and it's just, it's not going to be the same for everyone. It's just not. There are so many different genres. There are so many different styles of writing. And in the end, people write what they like and people read what they like. And because of that pathway, you know, I read what I like, I write what I like, and therefore that circle, that group of what I like kind of helps me grow and get better and better. Hopefully, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Trust yourself and know that you understand and know what you need to do for your writing. Obviously, none of us are the best writers, but I say we are great writers. We are good writers, we are great writers, and we're just gonna keep getting better and better. And that takes time. That takes writing words. That takes quantity, which you can then turn into quality writing. Everybody's process is different. There's no right or wrong way when it comes to writing. Writing a hundred years ago is different than now. Wow, Anthony, you have an amazing grasp of the obvious. <laughs> You're not going to fail. No matter what you do, you're not going to fail. If you're writing as best as you can, as much as you can, even during the bad times, you're not going to fail. I don't know. When it comes to writing, I just don't believe in it. I just believe in keep going, keep trying, keep writing. So if fear is something that's crippling you, that you're afraid to finish your book, you're afraid to keep writing because maybe it won't be 
perfectly received or or you're afraid of offending people or you're whatever your fear might be what i do know is that your book someone will love it and someone will want to read it it's hard to take in cruel comments or just hard comments or harsh comments about your writing but pick and choose the advice that you want to take and then grow and learn from that there's nothing to be afraid of when it comes to that kind of stuff when it comes to critiques don't be afraid to finish writing your book trust yourself trust that you know what you're doing and even if you don't know what you're doing because i certainly don't i have no idea what i'm doing over here but we're just trying we're going by the seat of our pants <laughs> even if you're like that still trust that you're gonna land on two feet you can do it it's been a very hard few weeks <laughs> because getting sick affected my mental health <laughs> who knew your physical health affects your mental health wow my old fear has been rising up because i'm not afraid of comments of harsh comments, of critiques, of people not liking my work. I'm not afraid of that. I get it. Cut people comment on my stuff and, and sometimes they're like, oh, I really don't like this or it happens. It's just, it's the nature of being a fan fiction writer. <laughs> it happens. I don't want to disappear. When I, when my mental health goes down, I stick my head in the sand. <laughs> It's like, okay, bye. <laughs> Goodbye, world. D don't need to see, nope, nothing, uh-uh, bye. That's not something I want to do because I did it before. I've done it for years. <laughs> it's just like, I don't want to do that. I did it last year on YouTube, made two videos, and the mental health was like, oh, hey, <laughs> remember me? Let me brutalize you. <laughs> yeah, and then I disappeared. Never looked back. I didn't even, I did not look at my channel for the entire year. I couldn't bear it. <laughs> when I went on hiatus with my fan fiction, didn't look at that the whole time. Couldn't bear it. Part of fears is facing them. <laughs> it is 5 p.m. on Thursday night, and I am making this video, and I'm going to post it, and it's going live tomorrow because I do not want to disappear. I had a lot of family members be like, oh, it's fine, just take a break. You're gonna be fine. You don't wanna have a bunch of sad, depressed videos and it's like, I, I'm sorry. I am not a 100% hyper person in real life, so why do I have to be 100% hyper on camera? That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I am here. Anthea has not left the building. We are here, we are trying, and we are facing our fears. So if I can turn on this camera when my mental health is the equivalent of a toilet, <laughs> then you can finish your book and you can keep writing and you can succeed at writing every day or succeed in your writing goals and adjust your writing goals so that you can make progress. And I understand that not making progress is hard. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna finish your book. You're gonna keep writing. It's gonna be good. Whatever you want to accomplish in your life, whether it's writing a book or it's other things, you have to face the beast that is fear and keep going. Keep trying, everyone. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. <laughs> we are here together and we're going to face our fear together one step at a time one video at a time one word at a time one sentence at a time one task at a time wherever you are in your life's journey you got this you got this i got this we got this see zelda is rooting for you you got this <laughs> baby steps everyone baby steps trust yourself i think that is a very good antidote to fear. Alrighty then. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some 
things to think about. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about fear and writing. Do you think that it holds you back? If it does, let's talk about it. I know when it comes to me and my life, my fear is not being productive and not getting things done. <laughs> it's not necessarily fear in my writing or comments or critiques. It's, it's really just not producing and being creative enough. That is my struggle. <laughs> And I don't want to disappear, so here I am. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please remember to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I will continue to make videos on Mondays and Fridays. Until next time, bye! We got this!